Welcome everyone. Today I'll be doing a slow cooker pot roast um, that I got from Walmart. I think it's a pretty cool idea. Uh, it came with a pretty quick pack, pretty much everything put together. So it's really trucker friendly. Uh, I tried the pot roast before. It took about seven hours, seven and a half hours slow cooking um, and it was ready. But uh, what I've noticed about this pack, so the pack comes with this. It has potatoes, carrots, celery, and an onion. It also comes with the pot roast. Pretty big pot roast. You can eat off this pot roast for about two, three days. Uh, and a seasoning pack that you pretty much add water to it. And, um, you know, it is pretty, pretty flavorful. Um, what I noticed that with, this, with these small amount of vegetables, I thought this time that I add this vegetable really to the recipe and see how it does. Uh, it's pretty easy to do. You just pretty much um, open up the crock pot. Uh, every time I use it, I pretty much store it the same way I bought it. So it's, you know, pretty um, safe to you know, transport. I'll put it back in these things right here. There you go. I cleaned it prior to putting it in here, so we're good on that issue. Put it in the crock pot. not too stable so I'm gonna put it right here um, so you would pretty much take a knife and open this up it's pretty easy once you open it up put the potatoes in there or you just pour it in What I noticed last time is um, the onion, you pretty much want to cut it in half. Because you want to put it on both sides of the slow cooker. And you want to spread the flavor out. You take the Pie roast, so you be careful. You want to, you know, waste all the juice, so you cut it up here at the top. There you go. So you have this. And reach over to the crock pot right in front of it. Reach in there. Put it out. Spread everything out. Put the pot roast in the middle. Spread everything out. And like I said, this time, I 
This time I'm gonna use um, this vegetable marinade. Now, concerning your seasoning, what I would do is just take this. Last time I used about a bottle and a half of water. Uh, you take this right here. trash so like I said again this is a half a bottle of water approximately um, what I used last time so I'm gonna take one more which would probably be equivalent to one big bottle of water Another bottle of water. And one thing you could do, um, it varies. Uh, you can season it before, or you can season it how you want to season it. Um, how you want to do it. I mean, I don't eat that much seasoning, use that much seasoning because you know, I'm trying to keep my health down, health issues down because it runs in my family, so. I mean, there's many ways you can do that. Um, I'm just doing a quick way. I'm not trying to get too fancy. Um, put a quick meal together, trucker friendly. Put the top on. So as it cooks, 
I mean, you can add water as needed. Uh, like I said, I have the 3000 watt um, power driver, power drive uh, inverter, and it works fine. Uh, I my outlet. Plug them to the outlet. I'm gonna put it at about high first. What I use, I use a styrofoam. Uh, it gives me an extra, the extra support for it. Yeah. And you pretty much can put it anywhere once you put that styrofoam under it. And put it there and let it get high. And let it get hot. <laughs> Took about seven and a half hours to have a meal. So hope you enjoy that. Uh, you add, add water as needed. There you go. Pot roast. Thank you for joining me. Well, it's been about a few hours. Uh, my pot roast cooking. Uh, it's cooking real good. Boy, you can smell that right now. A few more hours, and it's child time. Well, here goes my finished product. Uh, it's, it's been warming overnight. Um, I've been picking at it, it's, you know, tasting it here and there, but uh, it came out pretty good. That's a meal for about two, three days. Hope you enjoy.